Yeah, good morning and thanks for inviting me. Indeed, um, for us actually another nice profit, uh, 475 million for the quarter, as well as an 8.8% an ROE. So really a good quarter for us. And um, we are actually still seeing uh, good commercial growth, both in terms of our corporate loan book, as well as in our mortgages. And in fact, we've now become the market leaders in mortgages in the Netherlands. So that continues at the moment. Um, we're also, in terms of the higher interest rate environment, starting to see some good feedback into our deposit margins. And also still, you know, fee levels are returning to pre-COVID levels, so that year on year we saw a fee growth of, of 12%. So those are still very positive signals. I mean, you're right in terms of we also are feeling the pressures uh, in terms of very much in our assumptions that we're basing our provisioning on, but we're not yet seeing that feeding through into the actual underlying files in our in our loan books. So this quarter, you mentioned that we had a release of uh, provisions, and that's true. This is very much to do with our non-performing loan book, our stage three loan book, where actually our recoveries remain strong, and we are able to, in fact, even sell positions uh, at better prices than expected. And we're still seeing quite a bit of curing where things are moving from non-performing back into stage two. So that's all pretty positive, but for sure, we are also in terms of our economics bureau, starting to see that uh, a recession is more likely. Can I ask you a bit about the path back to significantly higher return on equity here? You're, you're projecting an ROE for 2024 at about 8%, which doesn't sound ambitious given some of the numbers we've seen delivered by banks in a similar space in Europe. Um, what is it going to take to make the business more profitable and to generate a double-digit ROE? Well, I would say you see this year we've already increased our guidance in terms of NII up from 5.1 to 5.2 billion. So you're starting to see some strength coming through there in terms of the uh, the interest rate environment. Also, if you were to project current um, forward rates, then we would in fact get to about 10% ROE by the end of 2024. In terms of our own views, we're still being a bit more conservative in terms of where interest rates are actually going to pan out. But uh, at current forward rates, you'd get to that 10%. Uh, we continue to also see, you know, in terms of the fee growth, a continuation of that fee growth. We've projected a 5 to 7% CAGA uh, over the coming period uh, until 2024. So that, that's also going to uh, help boost the top line. And ultimately, even though we're facing a bit of headwind this year in terms of our costs, we're still fully committed to the 4.7 billion um, 2024 end guidance that we've given. And uh, there definitely we are, we are very, very focused on that cost discipline. And I think all of that together with a through the cycle sort of cost of risk of around 20 basis points um, and these higher forward rates should potentially get us to the 10%.